Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I'm Penge, and welcome to Dot Age, a pixel art settlement builder which as well as having all the classic settlement builder things, like resource gathering and research and constructing new buildings, it also features an old man running around the place yelling orders into people's faces, and I quite like the sound of that. Someone's got to take charge of this whole brand new settlement place, and this old fella has decided that the best strategy is shouting at people until they get stuff done. And you know what? Fair enough. Maybe he's done that before, and that's what worked last time. I do not know, but yes, I do like how the game features a shouty old bloke as one of its main characters. I think that's quite a lot of fun. Now, this is the demo of Dot Age. There's no word on when the game is going to be released proper, but the demo is free on Steam right now as I record this. And of course, if you're interested, there is a link to the Steam Store page in the video description below, so you can go and give it a little go if you'd like to. But anyway, I think it's time to get on with it, isn't it? Let's dive in and be shouted at by an elderly man. Okay, so here we go. Our new story begins and there is the shouty old man. Look at him there, just doing lots of shouting already. So much shouting going on. So that chappy there is Mattus, who's our village elder. And it looks like maybe in the future, you could pick different village elders. But right now in the demo, we've only got Mattus to choose from. But you know what? That's okay. I quite like you, Mattus. Because as well as you doing lots of shouting and having some very wonderful eyebrows going on, because they're very spectacular eyebrows, they're huge, well done on your eyebrowage, you're also grumpy. You've got a special trait, which means you are actually intentionally grumpy. So as well as him being a shouty old man, he's also a grumpy old man. So he's a grumpy, shouty old man who is the village elder. And I like the sound of that. So it says there, Mattis has a very short temper and no patience for slackers. Everybody will work hard under his command. Okay, so he's going to make everybody work very hard indeed. And I imagine if people aren't working hard enough, he'll just shout at them louder and longer until they actually get the job done. And then in the middle here, it says, let me tell you the story of how our very own village was born. I was so young back then. This is the tale of a curse we were destined to face and of how we bested the adversities through cooperation. So it's kind of him telling a tale of how the village was sort of born, which I quite like. It's telling a story of the past through his view, which is quite fun. And then difficulty, we'll pick normal because it says there, danger generated 100%. I don't think we want to have any more than 100% danger because that would be incredibly dangerous. So we'll stick with just, you know, a regular amount of danger. Thank you very much. Let me tell you a story. It began before all of you were born. We have been traveling for days in foreign lands. This is the story of how our village was born. The story of how we bested the prophecy. So yeah, it's kind of matters looking back and telling people how the village began. So the origins of the village. So as he's telling this story, the village must already be there. Hopefully it's flourishing. But this is him kind of telling people about what happened at the very start of the village, which I do quite like. And there's a mysterious prophecy as well. Okay. Here we are. It all began in a lush secluded valley, which we found after several days of travel. It looks very lovely. Lots of trees, some rocks over there. Good old classic berry bushes. There's a little rabbit hopping about there as well. Hello, little hopping rabbit. Okay. And then we are in these trees, are we, by the look of it? Just a few more steps, you slackers. We're almost there. Okay. I like him already. So, Tichichi... We're going to call you Tichichi because that's a wonderful name. It says, my feet hurt. Okay, so we've kind of come out those trees, and here we go. So there's Mattus, and there's three other people. Oh, I was so young back then. I convinced a few pips to follow me to the valley. Okay, so pips are people, I imagine. Okay, you know, this is it. This is the place I told you about. We must stay here. And then Tachichi, wonderful name, says, you better not be lying about this new life, Mattus. Impertinent. Follow my lead, and everything will be all right. Now, get to work. Okay, I like him. I like him. And already, look, he's doing yelling. He's already shouting at people. We started working right away to build our village. Okay. So do we get building right now? Oh, okay. I think this is the first time I'm telling you this story, isn't it? Yes, it is. Absolutely. You better pay attention, as I won't repeat it twice. At any time, you can click on that button to skip the scene. Okie doke. The village was in a secluded, faraway valley. You can use your arrow keys, pan at the screen edges, or hold right and click and move. Okay. Basically, move around, do some simple tutorial things. There we go, wonderful. I was the elder of the new village. Let me tell you what I did to make the village thrive. So already people are gathering berries by the look of it, which is quite good. The tent was our village center. It defined the extent of our village where we could safely build. Place it on an available tile close to berry bushes. 
Okay, so we've got to do some building. Ah, look, there's little kind of spots where we can build. Okay, so we get to put a little tent down, which is lovely. Um, there is the map in its entirety. It's quite big. It's quite a big map. I assume we can't go any further than that and that at the moment because there's, you know, mysterious clouds or whatever. But okay, this is fine. Um, I mean, it says near to the berry bushes. Why don't we just put it right in the middle? Just there will do the job. We pips inhabited dwellings such as this. Okay. So it's like a little tent. Hover over the dwelling and you will see that it's already full of pips. Okay, so three people live in there. Ah, there we go. They run over to stand in front of it. I like that. Where do we live? Where do we live? Okay, I don't know where we live. Pips, yes, my fellow villagers. I used to tell them what to do each day. I bet you did, shouty man. Hmm, I remember first sending a pip to get some food. To assign a pip to a building structure or plant, click on its tile. Okay, ah, right, so you want me to click on the berry bush over there and then somebody, I assume, is going to go and work on it. Okay, so we do that and then he, <laughs> he followed them down. Okay, so I assume he's yelling at her from sort of, you know, the cover of this tree. Pips followed my wise advice without question. The pip is now working. You can click on the tile again to remove pips. Okay, so that person is currently gathering some berries. So there's times 10 and then three. So they're gathering three berries, I assume. Pips work to produce resources daily. Hover over a building, see what it will produce in the top right. Yes, yeah, so that produces berries. We found some bushes full of berries. They would suffice for our first days. Bushes have limited uses. The number on the top left shows how many uses are left. Ah, right, so we can get 10 helpings of berries out of that bush and each helping gives us three actual berries. Okay, that should be okay. And here we go, user interface things are appearing. We collect the resources we produce each day in a shared pool inside the village. One food for each pip was needed every day. Available food is assigned automatically. Right, okay, so one food for one person. I ensured that each pip was assigned to their daily task. Here you can see how many working pips in the village in total and how many are idling. So one is busy gathering berries and two are available for work. And we're just kind of swanning around. Look, he does. He just, <laughs> he just stands there and screeches at people. That's brilliant. I love that. More settlement builder games should have just shouty people bellowing orders at people. I like that. Well done, Mattis. Now he's just yelling at the air. Wonderful. Take that air. Do my bidding. Um. Okay, that's fine. I also took note of the current day, year and season. The game advances in turns. Ah, okay. So not worry about time passing too fast. Ah, okay, right. It's turn-based. Oh, that's wonderful. That's very exciting. When I was satisfied with the daily assignments, we got to work right away. Pass a turn by clicking the sun. Well, hang on, hang on. We've got two spare people doing nothing at all. Is it not worth having them also working on berry bushes? Yeah, look, as soon as you assign somebody, he legs it down to where they're working and he screeches at them. <laughs> that's brilliant. Um, okay, we might as well get them doing something. And then if we need them to do other jobs, like, I don't know, chopping down trees to get wood, I imagine is going to be a thing, then we'll unassign them from the berries. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Right, so click the uh, happy sun face down there. Okie doke. So we've gathered quite a lot of food. Three of it goes back out to our people. So there we go, berries, berries for breakfast, lunch and dinner, all that kind of stuff. Right, here we go. Hold on. There was more to it. I recall it now. Memory retrieved. My memories. I can recall what happened. Oh, so in the future, he's remembering little sort of fragments. Oh, and there's jigsaw pieces. Okay. So memories. With my old age, I tend to get a bit forgetful. As I tell you our story, old memories will resurface. So look out for those epiphanies. Okay. So do we have to pick up the sort of, the sort of, you know, jigsaw puzzle fragments? I do not know. Okay. We'll find out. Memory retrieved. Build. Pips can now build structures. Okay. Any pip has the skills to build a building. After you choose the building, you have to place it where you want inside the village area. An unoccupied pip will get there to build it and it'll take a few days. Okie doke, that's fine. The building menu is divided in sections. Click on the services section. Okay, so what have we got? Raw, dwellings and services. Okay, I decided we needed a thinker's post to help pips come up with new ideas. Click on it. A thinker's post. It's not like a research lab. It's like a little, is that like a chair just surrounded by some rocks? I like that. Each building had different costs to build. For this one, it took one day and a couple of wood resources. Okay, so one day, two wood, sorted. Um, buildings used by pips to produce resources. This one produces one science in one day. Okay, that sounds reasonable. Buildings also had special requirements called traits. 
This building cannot be placed immediately next to another building. Thinking pips needed silence. Okay, so it can't be next to anything because they're doing thinking and they want it to be nice and quiet. Okay, okay, I like that. I decided where to place the building. Place it. If a pip is free, it'll be assigned to the building. Remember to assign a pip before passing your turn. Okay, so we've got to put this somewhere near to nothing else. Now, I think maybe we have to plan ahead with this a little bit because if we say put that there, we might want to build some sort of forestry thing over here because there's trees there. So I'm thinking maybe over here looks good. There's nothing over here at all. Mattis has kind of scooted over to investigate the site we're thinking about. There's nothing near there. I mean, if we want to do farming, if we get farms, we could go down there. So I'm thinking, yeah, that looks like a pretty good spot, really far away from everything and everybody. So pop that down. It took Pips a few days to build. Hover the building, see how many turns are left. Now that's in gray. So I assume that's in gray because nobody's building on it because we're all gathering berries. So, um, okay, you don't gather berries anymore. Can you please go over there and do some building? There we go. You grab yourself a little kind of hammer. Wonderful. And you're going to go in here and you're going to whack that with the hammer, I imagine, and do some building. Okay, so it's going to take a day, a day to get that done and a bit of wood as well. Do we need to start gathering wood? I suspect maybe gathering wood might be quite important, but okay, we'll let the game tell us about it. Buildings came in many different types. Some of them could be built only on specific terrains, while others changed production based on their surroundings. What? You want to know how I master the placement of buildings? While well, I collect my wisdom into a big book I called the Agepedia. Access it by clicking here. Okay, so we have a little kind of, little sort of log journal type thing. My HPedia contains information about buildings, resources, and much more. Be sure to check it off, and I'm sure we won't. I, if you forget about something, just ask, and I will gladly tell you about it. When you see a small question mark icon on your cursor, you can right click to access the HPedia page for the hovered item. Okie doke, right, very handy to know. Right, so they're building that. Um, you two are gathering food. And Mattis is just kind of pacing around the place. That's okay. Um, I think we end the turn. So food goes in, food goes out, and we've built the little thinker post. Okay, wonderful stuff. So are they now working there? Do we need to assign somebody to that? I don't know. Okay, we'll come to that in a bit. Okay, research. Pips can research new buildings. Pips came to these lands with little knowledge, but they can be very brilliant if they take their time. Some buildings produce science, which is used to advance your research. Indeed, that's kind of how it works. By gathering science, you'll be able to discover new buildings. That sounds very exciting. Okay, so you're now working on there, look. Some pips are obsessed with science, a special resource we could use to discover new buildings. Click on the research button to see what we can do. Okay, so let's have a look at the research tree. So I kept a tally of what structures we had knowledge of. Each building required producing a certain amount of science. Yeah, we get that. Um, I alone chose where to focus a research efforts, hover over the building, see its details, and then click on it. Okay, so we need to research, by the look of it right now, a forager. Okay, so we're under the cultivation kind of tree. So a forager, and then a forager branches out, oh, into three things that we can't see just yet. Okay, because we have to get the prerequisite done first. Okay, so a forager, takes one wood and one day to research, and then when they're constructed, they produce two food. Okay, that's quite good. They have to be near to some woods. Okay, right, so click on that. After we discovered new buildings, we gained access to even more brilliant ideas. I can't recollect them right now. So I'm sure we had a lot of different ideas. They'll surely come to me later. Okay, right, so complete one, you move on to the next. Okay, that's fine, I get that. So I think again, do we just... Do we just tick time or what else can we build? Can we build other stuff? Do you want to build a shack? Welcomes a commoner. Ah, maybe we should build a new house. We might be possibly going against what tutorial land is you know, letting us do, but I think another house would not go amiss. Joe, you know let's have a little bit of, um, maybe over here, look. Let's have a little kind of, maybe, maybe here. No, I don't want to put too near to that thing. Where can we put our little kind of, little residential area? Maybe there. Maybe just here, we'll have a few houses next to each other. Let's build a shack, shall we? So, two days, three bits of wood. I'm sure it's going to be fine. Ah, and the shacks expand the building area, look. So if we build a shack there, we can then start building on that square at some point in the future. Okay, I mean, let's put it there anyway, because that's kind of where I was thinking. So pop that down. Okay, nobody available to build that. He's yelling at nobody. So you... Don't bother doing that with the stuff over there. You go over there and do some building. 
Matters will come and shout in your face about the building work, but that's okay. You're used to it by now. Okay, so now we're building a little house. So maybe we can get some more people coming in. That's quite exciting. Okay, so click on the happy sun. So work happens. Go through the work phase. Then the food phase. So everybody eats. Got plenty of food right now. That's good. Then everybody goes to little kind of tent thing. And then a new day begins. Okay, wonderful. I like this. This is lovely. Okay, so what do we do now? Are we supposed to research that? Is that the next goal? So do we just need to kind of keep time ticking on? We'll get the shack built though, I think. So again, food goes in, food goes out. That's absolutely fine. Food is looking good at the minute. Food isn't a concern at the moment because we're gathering as much as we're eating. I don't quite know what matters is eating, but there we go. Um, procreation, <laughs> okay. Pips can make new babies. Okay, so we get you know, a piece of paper and a pen or a pencil or a quill or whatever and something, and we write a letter to the stork. That's how it goes, isn't it? Ah, the power of love. If a dwelling has enough empty space, Pips will be able to make a baby. And they should, if we want the village to thrive. Oh, this is very lovely. Send two Pips out building with some surplus food, and they'll spend the next night together making a new baby. Via, of course, writing letters to the stork. Any two free Pips will do, regardless of their appearance. Pips can be very prolific. Okay, so we can pick any two people, put them in the house, they do start letter writing, and then there's children. Okay, lovely. It took a little time to realise that we needed more Pips. I was too old, but my fellow Pips were healthy and prolific. It's time for the birds and bees talk. It's pretty simple. You need a happy couple and some food. Any two Pips will do. Um, you need two free Pips for this to work. Free up some Pips. Um, okay. I mean, the buildy pip has stopped. They're not doing anything. We've got plenty of food. So food gathering pip, you don't do anything either. Pips also need an intimate place. Right click to open the actions menu. Okay. When I order pips to procreate, they would gladly accept. I'm sure they would. Choose the make a baby action. It's the one with the big heart. Oh, this is lovely. Um, Out of interest, what else is there? So that's telling us what it is. That's telling us the terrain details. That's saying take it apart. And that saying, do stalk letter writing. Um, okay, click that then. The two pips would then spend the next day making the baby. I hope everything is clear now. I won't explain it again. No, I, I get that. I get how it works. Oh, they've bought flowers for each other. They've bought flowers for each other. Uh, right, Matters, you, I think you shouting at them might possibly hinder this process. If you could leave. There we go. There we go. Go and shout at researchy person down here rather than these two people here. I like that they bought each other a little sort of bouquet of flowers. That's adorable. Okay, so now they're going to go in there, I imagine, at some point. Um, oh, hang on. Go to the next day because I think that's what we have to do. So the research is coming along. There's lots of hearts coming out of that building. That's lovely. And anything happening? Growing up. <gasps> There's a little person there called Shola. Spola. That's a B, I think. Spola. Okay, so now we've got a child in the settlement and there's a shack for everyone to go and live in. That's wonderful. When a new child is born, it will take a few turns before it can become an adult. Children are not strong nor disciplined enough to work. You know, tell me about it. So they will just play around their homes all day. Remember to feed them too. However, as they eat just like an adult. Okay, so we have to give them food. So now we're consuming four food a day. Okay, and look. They run over to go and look at the rabbits. They're just kind of, you know, having a fun old time. Is Sebola our child? Okay, that's wonderful. I like that. Um, let's carry on. I mean, you two might need to start gathering some more food. Because <laughs> they're just chasing after it. <laughs> more berries, more berries, bring more berries. Um, okay, so now we're gathering six berries and we're consuming four. Okay, that's fine. Right, so go to the next day. Gather all the berries. Right, the research is done. We can now have a forager. This is good. I feel like maybe we should build some more houses as well, but let's just see what we need to do as part of this forager thing. Okay, research complete. Forager, wonderful. Do we need to build one of those now? I assume we do. Are we going to get shouted out to build a forager? Or is that kind of it now? Is tutorial land complete and the game's gone? There you go, that's all you need. What's that in the corner? Resource cap of 50. Oh, oh right, hang on. So we can only have what? 50 of a single resource. Oh, so we can only have up to 50 food. Anything else just gets put in the bin. Okay, right, that's fine. And um, there's some fish over there. I didn't notice that. There's fish over there. Um, okay, so now we can build a forager, but they have to be near to some woods. 
Okay, so if we put a forager there, they're going to gather berries from those woods forever, I think is how that's going to work. So I think, yeah, these are sort of finite resources where that's just going to keep happening forever. Do you know what? Let's put the forager opposite that shack. Let's put the forager just there and we'll stop you doing that. And you can go over there and work on that, please. That'd be wonderful. Um, and do we have to pick some science? Have we now got to pick some new tech? Um, oh, hang on, hang on. Do we need to click that to unlock it or something? I don't know. We've unlocked these. So a crude well... Okay, that does seem like quite a good thing to have. You know, access to water would be good. Seeds picker. Okay, so somebody who goes and grabs seeds and vegetables and things by looking at it. Or, oh, access to more shrubs. Okay, I think water might be the best thing to get right now. So four research points to unlock a well. Because at the moment, I imagine we're either drinking out of that lake or these puddles. I'd like to think that maybe we're getting water from the lake. I hope we're not drinking water from a mangy puddle. Um, okay, that'll do for now. Right, so is everyone doing something? Yes. Okay, so get time ticking on. The kid is just kind of happily sort of you know, playing with the rabbits and out enjoying nature and stuff, which is lovely. Right, so another day ticks by. Goes to night time and there we go. Right, so now has anything else happened? Has the child grown up? No. Okay. Uh, raw, what's raw? What's that doing? A wood collector. A wood collector would be quite a useful thing, pardon the pun, because we are running low on wood. Um, the only thing is, we're also running low on people. Running low on people to do the jobs. Um, how about, how about you stop gathering stuff for now? Don't gather berries. And you can be a wood collector. It's got to be nearby the woods. The only thing is, I imagine it's going to deplete the woods. So maybe we put you down here. So put the wood collector down there and then you can scoot down here and start building that. So chop at things with an ax, please. Um, one out of four science points on the well. Okay, right, so things are looking good. So really, we need to get the well done and then we need our child to grow up. We need to gather some more wood and then we need to another shack because of course we need more kids because that's how this is going to work. That's how we're going to get bigger. Um, okay, right, so we can work on that. That's fine. Oh, hang on, hang on. Yes, the child grew up. Spoiler reached adulthood. Okay, oh look, they <laughs> don't they look like their mother or father? I'm not quite sure. They look like their parent just there. That's lovely. Um, okay, we've now got an additional person. Right, so what can we do with our additional person? So we've got a berry person, a thinky person. You're gathering wood, which is wonderful. So maybe you need to start gathering some food. So somebody come down here, gather food. So Spola is now gathering berries, which is good. And I think we need to get the well sorted. So let's get the well constructed. And that's what we'll do. So research the well. So again, end of the day, food goes out. Minus four food. Yeah, we're gathering... No, we've got six food, haven't we? Four from the berry bush. No, three from the berry bush, is it? Ah, two. So five food coming in, and we're eating four. So food is going up, so that's okay. Um, do you know what? Yeah, another day of that, please. Just another peaceful day of just, you know, lovely, tranquil village life of gathering berries and getting some wood from a forest and thinking about stuff. I like that. Okay, and then you go back home and research complete a crude well okay growth this is going to be key a new research section is now available okay some terrains may have special properties that can affect building output when a building that can take advantage of that terrain is built on top it will have an increased production output okay so i see what's happening here put a well on top of watery ground it's going to be better okay i see that oh yes i remember now we had ideas for many different types of structures sometimes i will remember a new research section and it will appear in the research tree okie dokie i see right so first up however let's get ourselves a well and i think yes if we put the well just there or down here that's going to be better so let's put the well there so it can be a little bit more effective and you can stop gathering berries and go there and whack that with a hammer, please. And then over here, right. So cultivation is now here, but we also do have a growth tree as well now. This is wonderful. Okay, so again, because it's the demo, there's not too much in the demo. But um, yeah, okay, so we can't get all the way down here. That's hidden behind other ideas. So we've now got access to plowed soil, 
Okay, so we just add some soil. So that's a precursor to farming. We might need some seeds though to actually plant. Or what we've we got here, we've got a shack. We've got the bivouac, so that's our tent thing. Um, a hunting tent, okay, or a fishing post. Okay, right. So I think what we'll do is for now, let's get let's get that constructed. And then we've got to pick a thing. We've got to pick a thing to unlock. I mean, let's get the seed picker unlocked. Do that because then we might be able to get some seeds to do some basic farming. But um, yeah, okay, right. So food comes in, then we eat the food. We're going to be fine for food. We do need possibly another couple of people. We do need some more people, I think, however. Um, what I think we'll do is, what I think we'll do is, um, I mean, yeah, do they live in that shack? There's one person living in that shack right now. So I think what we might have to do is, we might have to build another shack. So get another shack put together. And that means there's going to be two spaces. Put two people in that shack. And then they can, you know, I don't know, do their stock letter writing. Then the child can live in that shack. It seems that the original people are still living in the tent. Go and live in the shack. Oh, hello. Yes. <laughs> oh, crikey's. Shout to... Okay, I don't know what's happening. Right. Okay, he's having a nightmare. Or he shouted so loud. Ah, the apocalyptic vision. I remember it vividly. Oh, dear. Fate. Events will appear. Our village is cursed. Oh no, that's not good. Plenty of events with unforeseen consequences may appear when you pass the turn between each day and the next. Events can be anything. The shift in the winds, the creation of a new bond, the symptoms of a new illness, or just a good old earthquake. Oh, wonderful. Most events have adverse effects, so pray you are lucky. Okay, I mean, even in that look, he's shouting. Even in here, he's, ah... <laughs> Brilliant. Do not despair. I am no ordinary elder. I am an oracle. I can sometimes predict what woes await. My visions are collected at the top of the screen. However, my visions are imperfect. I can only predict the nature of an event and the day it will appear. The rest is up to you. Okay. <laughs> right. So, uh, we're all gathering down here, are we? Uh, the visions came to me. I saw the future and the world is doomed. The apocalypse is coming. You brought us here to die says to chi chi you're a bit dramatic to chi chi but okay don't be stupid we're in this place for a reason we can stop this let me tell you about my prophecy says matters okay right oh a spooky scroll according to what i saw we will endure many trials in the near future oh are there new things to unlock oh this is exciting i wrote down all my visions our first danger lay ahead I carefully noted all days of the year. This is the current day. Today. Yes. Okay, right. That's fine. Um, oh, okay, that doesn't look good. And a doom event awaits us in a few months. We must prepare for it. Oh, why must there be a doom event? Why can't there be a fluffy bunny event or a nice cup of tea and a sit down event? Okay, right. Uh, what do we do? You say we find new life here. Disrespectful fool. Are you calling me a liar? Work hard and the trials can be bested. This is what I saw. Now you know all about the prophecy. We need to work hard to survive. Okay. So now there's a new thing up here then. What's that? Despair domain. What is the despair domain? Okay, so it's not just a little kind of happy pixel arty city builder with pixel arty fluffy bunnies jumping around. There's kind of a sinister undertone to this. And a shouty old man. The domains. The mysterious domains govern the life of pips, determining what events will appear when and why. Each domain has its own rules, so make sure you learn the differences. In difficult times, the howls of the wind and the harshness of life can quickly drive a pip mad. Okay, it looks like there's a ne'er-do-well there stabbing somebody with a big old sword. Um, the despair domain feeds on the inner struggle and social tensions of your pips. When its threat is high, pips will perform atrocious deeds controlled by their fears. Place buildings that increase hope in the village and keep your pips happy and entertained to fight despair events. Pips may also find happiness in positive social connections, which includes pets. Pet bunnies. Okay, I see what we've got to do there. Okay, so there is now the despair domain. I saw the future. We were all doomed. Thanks to my visions, I could warn everybody about what would happen. Visions of future events will appear here. My visions were tied to the domains of the forces that threaten the village. This one is sleeping. Okay, so it's got a little kind of sleepy eye. So we are safe for a while, but it will change. Okie dokie. 
this is all getting very serious. An omen prophecy may occur, may appear, sorry, inside the prophecy book. Nothing can be done about an omen prophecy. The event will arrive and it will make things worse, just as predicted. Oh, brilliant. Hooray for things coming along and making stuff worse. Right, okay, so is that the prophecy? Okay, so where are we today? Okay, so we're on day 41 then, I think it is. So there must be 41, well, 40-ish days around then since they started traveling. So day 41, we've got an omen there. Okay, so on day, I mean, where is that? Between 46 and 47, is that a bad thing is going to happen? And then there's a risk. And then all the way up here, although it does tick back down to one, weirdly enough, um, there is a doom event. Okay, wonderful. That sounds that sounds very jolly indeed. Hooray for the doom event. Um, yes, six days until an omen arrives and uh, we can't do anything about it i didn't expect we could i didn't expect we could we can be prepared for it i suppose but that's kind of about it um okay i think then let's start getting some more people so another shack would not go amiss so pop another shack down there you don't need to gather water right now i would say so come off a of water gathering duty and go and do some building work over in that shack. There you go. Mattis will start yelling at you about that. Right. Okay. So move time on. I think. Yeah. Let's get that done. Let's try and get that research done. Get the shack complete. And then maybe try to get another child into the settlement. Just because that's really going to help out, isn't it? More people. More people doing more jobs. More jobs. More resources. And everything gets better. So, okay. Here we go. Let's see what we can do. So nothing going on today. Because the shack still isn't complete. Here we go, work on this. Food is looking okay. Food's looking okay. Not brilliant, but it's looking all right. So we can cope with that. Right, here we go. So now we've got the shack done. I like the way it's not entirely in line with the other one. I quite like that. It's, you know, it's a little bit kind of off-center, though, but it's slightly differently. I quite like that. Right, seeds picker. Um, change production. They can change the production of buildings. Ah, right, yeah, the seed picker one did kind of flick between two things. Some buildings may accept different inputs and produce different resources as well. When this happens, you can rotate the available production using a lovely big button. Okay, right, that's fine. At the moment, we're not going to build ourselves a seed picker because we haven't got enough people to do all of the jobs we'd like people to do. We have got a spare person. We have got one spare person just kind of hanging around. Um, oh, ailments. Oh, none. Okay. So we've got 18 fish nearby. Okay, I was kind of hoping maybe it would tell us about pets, but no, there's 18 fish. Um, okay, and that's just the village. Four adult pips. Okay, what we'll do is then, what we'll do is how about, um, let's not do any sciencey stuff. So you and you, because uh, we've got an okay amount of wood now. So you and you don't do anything. So three idle pups. You come down here and just stock upon food. Somebody else come down here. That's fine. So we've got two spare pips. Okay, so if we then just right click this and do that. So make a baby. I don't know who now is making a baby with who. I'm not quite sure. And why Mattis has to get involved, I don't know. I think it was you two before, wasn't it? Was it you two before? We'll say it was the same couple. Okay, wonderful. Right, so you do that, please, because that's going to be really good. And we need to get to this omen event type thing. Right. However, did it work? Did you do some good stock letter writing? Yes, you did. The baby Carver and Carver or Caver is growing up. Okay. The only thing is, of course, we've got more mouths to feed now. So we do need to sort of concentrate on food a little bit. So, yeah. Okay, right. So we've now got two people busy. So one person on berries, one person on food there. So at the moment our food is balanced. Okay, so how about you get down? Hang on, what's the, what did we unlock? crude ah no hang on hunting we've got a seed picker right do we want to go and do this though do you want to go and build ourselves a seed picker um i mean that might be good for food overall that might be quite handy for food let's put one person back over there and then do you know what we will build a seed picker it doesn't say we need to be near anything um i don't know let's put them over here look pop them all the way over back do you know what put them there so drop them just there so there can be a seed picker there and you can go and do some building. That is wonderful. And in terms of research, um, let's look at plowed soil. Six turns to get that done. Okay, this is fine. So we've only got a couple of days until the omen arrives, the mysterious omen event, but that's okay. Right, the seed picker is done. The seed picker is already done. So do they now go and 
gather some seeds, I imagine, and then we can build a farm or something. I don't really know. I'm not quite sure about that bit yet. Um, okay, right. So you click on. No, 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 don't not work over there. Um, yeah, you're just gathering seeds. Oh, hang on. What does that mean? Oh, that's out of berries. Okay, so then work on that one. Come down here and work on that. We'll skip to the end of the day. So it's now time for the omen event, everybody. Buckle up, because I've got no idea what this is going to entail, but a terrible thing is going to happen, I think. Right, okay. That wasn't as terrible as expecting. Uh, okay, right, it's... Oh, I thought that was kind of happening. Oh, it's incoming tonight. Okay, right, I see. Um, I mean, yeah, are we gathering seeds? Okay, lovely. So we've got two lots of seeds. The only thing is, I don't know how many seeds it needs to... Um, so yeah, how many seeds you need to actually go and plow, uh, yeah, properly put into a field so it can then grow enough food. I don't know. So what we'll do is, again, we'll do this. We'll skip through. We're not gathering quite enough food, I don't think, because we've not got anybody on the sort of a gatherer thing at the moment. But that's okay. Event incoming. Okay. So the berry gatherer has found something in a tree. Ah. Oh, no. There's a thing. F uh, fear threat rises. Crow sighting. Okay, so it was a sighting of a mysterious, sinister crow. And because of that, this thing pops up with some terrifying skulls, one of which has got a little kind of either a tiny snake or a maggot coming out of its eye. Um, so fear threat increases permanently by one. The strength of... Yeah, is that a fear threat thing? And wild animals. I don't know what that means, but okay, right, okay. A thing has happened, and it probably wasn't that good. We've seen a mysterious omen, and it's made everybody a little bit kind of edgy. Um, yeah, okay, that's not great. The event arrived, and the domain's threat has increased. Botherations. The bar below each domain measures its current threat. Wherever to reach its maximum, we would be doomed. If awake, the domain generated fear each day. The higher the threat, the higher the fear generated. Not all was lost, however, we could fight that fear by generating hope. Okay, a new research thing for community. Some buildings will help you protect against upcoming events. These buildings produce some protection against a given domain. Your total protection determines your defense capabilities against events. You can check this total by hovering on the domains. Okay, I remember we had to fire, we had special buildings to fight off events. Uh, oh no, are you going to make me change? Okay, so community. Um... A meeting point. Okay, so meeting point gives to hope, which is that. Oh, I can't kind of roll over it, but there's like a sort of a diamond with a smiley face in it. So, okay, you want me to do this game? Okay, fine. We're going to switch our research over. We've kind of done a bit of a bit of fields, but now we're going to start looking at meeting points, which does look to me just like two logs on the ground. Um, and why does it take four days to research that? I do not know, but there we go. Um, okay, and they, uh, the child's grown up. The child has grown up. The child's got amazing hair. Wonderful hair. Well done, you. Very colourful. Spectacular. Um, so what do you want to do with you? Um, I think, given that wood is looking a little bit low, we're going to need some. You can go down here and gather some wood. Mattis will come down and shout at you. You'll have to get used to that. He does that a lot. That's his kind of thing. Um, okay, so I think for now... We need to skip forward until that research is done. So let's just get time ticking on until that research is complete. And then we'll build ourselves a little meeting post type thing. And then we'll see if we can just, you know, add a little bit of hope to our tiny settlement here. And make everybody a little bit less scared of stuff. Okay, hang on a second. We're a couple of days in and Matter says, I see, I see the risk of a bad event falling upon us. The vision is confusing, but there is hope. We can fight it. Okay. Oh, risk prophecy. Oh, crikey. A risk prophecy may appear inside the prophecy. The events tied to a risk prophecy can be very bad, but the vision is muddy and the future can be altered. Okay, so what do we do with that? When a risk prophecy arrives, the current protection is checked against the domain's danger. Good grief. Uh, you have a chance to prevent an event based on the ratio of danger to protection. The higher your protection, the higher the chance. Okay. So basically, we want more protection stuff to stop bad stuff happening to us. Okay, right. I, I get that more. I had another vision. A risk event. It felt somewhat dangerous. Hopefully, we had several days to prepare. 
the vision had awoken the domain, which started generating fear. Better generate some hope. Okay, so the um the domain is now awake. The domain looks adorable. <laughs> the domain is a little kind of smiley white ball thing with one eye. It just looks lovely. I want to go and give it a little hug, but no, apparently it's a bad thing. And we've got plus one fear from threat. Okay, so is he talking about... Um, where are we? Yeah, this thing. Is he talking about that? I think he is. There's a thing there. What's that? A season event? Oh, crikey. Okay, right. So he's talking about that thing. Um, okay, right. So we need to carry on getting this thing unlocked. We need to get that meeting point done just to provide some hope. So here we go. Let's just keep flying through the days. And there we go. The research is done. We've unlocked a meeting point. So now we need to get one of those put together. So I think... We've got a good amount of wood and a good amount of seeds. Let's stop gathering seeds for now. And can we please get ourselves the meeting point put together? So one day, two bits of wood, that's going to be fine. I mean, it has to be nearby to a dwelling. Okay, um, do you know what? We'll put it just there. That seems like a good place for it. Right, so you run up here and start building that. Ah, right. So yeah, there's two fear now against zero hope. We currently have no hope at all. Um, okay, let's go back... I mean, actually, do we want to start unlocking some more hope-based things? Bonfires, a puddle. Oh, lovely, a glorious puddle. Um, or a medicinal table. Okay, or a shared table. Do you know what? We can have a shared table. We can have a bonfire. That might be quite nice. Uh, requires a bit of wood to actually burn to make the fire, but we could probably cope with that for a while, maybe. Uh, do you know what? Let's unlock... Or... Do we go for food? Maybe we should actually carry on unlocking our fields because then we can have less people working on gathering berries and such like and more people farming to get more food. And then that might free up people if the farmers generate more food to do different jobs. Okay, that's going to be fine. Um, I switched on the um, sort of speedy end turn thing because it did take a little while and that's okay. Yeah, you can't do much while the turn ends anyway. Okay, so is that now... Okay, hang on. We've exhausted that there. So now we need two people over here to go. There we go. Two people are over here. Mattis is shouting at them about hope, I imagine. <laughs> be hopeful. Be hopeful. Be more hopeful. Do more hope. Okay, Mattis. Okay. So now plus one is coming from the threat, but plus two is coming from our little kind of meeting post over here because we're having lovely chats. Um, food is looking a little bit low little bit concerned about food what we should do is turn you off gathering uh, wood and maybe get you gathering some berries just to balance our food out at the minute you keep doing the science stuff you gather berries okay right this is better so we should now four versus two okay we're gonna have more hope than fear by the time this risk event thing appears which will hopefully help out quite a bit. So here we go, do the same thing again. Those two are having a little natter around the uh, sort of meeting point. Right, ploughed soil. Tasks. Pips can perform some tasks on terrains. Uh, the special category of tasks are different from buildings. Instead of building something, they change the terrain below it. Use these to clear a forest or to reclaim land. Okay. Why is it telling us that? Why is it saying that? So ploughed soil. So if we just put a piece of ploughed soil just there, for example, if we said, okay, do that, somebody. Um, let's not do any thinking for now. Don't do any science for the minute. Can you come over and change that soil type? So change that terrain type even. Okay, so we'll see how this works. So there we go. Everyone needs... Ah, look, it's already done. They've turned that into a little field. Okay, so we've built ploughed soil... So one spare person is over here. So what do we do with that? Terrain details. Um, to make sure the crops will grow without issue, pips used to prepare their soil with their bare hands. Okay. But now how do we put something into the... How do we, how do we make that do a thing? How do we put seeds into the field to grow some food? I kind of feel like that would be a useful thing to do, although I'm not quite sure how we go about doing that. Um, hang on a minute, hang on. Can I figure out how in the kind of agepedia thingamabob? Okay, it's a coming soon sort of thing. Maybe it's not in the demo. Okay, maybe that was a little bit of a waste of time, but not to worry. We've got a lovely kind of ploughed field over there, which it might come in useful at some point. But okay, we've got two days until the risk event appears, but now it's equal. So six fear 
but six hope, which is good. So I think maybe let's get somebody back over there. Yeah, get somebody going to do some lovely research stuff. And we'll go back to community because now that's not so useful. Oh, hang on. Maybe that's what we need to do. Carrot field. So we've got the idea of a field, but now we need to know what to put into the field. Ah, okay. Right, maybe we'll come back to that. But community-wise, I think, yeah, let's get a shared table. That sounds quite fun. So two people can sit at a shared table with a bit of water and a bit of food by the look of it, and they generate five hope. That's got to be a good thing. So yeah, okay, start work on that. Six turns until that's done. That's quite a long time. But okay, right, here we go. So I think, is that bad thing going to happen? Yeah, tonight. Okay, uh, but we've got more hope than there is fear, which is wonderful. We've kind of just turned that around just in the nick of time. Um, okay, everyone's got a job. Here we go. Let's see what happens here. What happens with the bad thing? So a bad thing is happening. Oh, it's all going a bit weird and wibbly. <laughs> okay, there is wibbly. So test your fate. Okay, do I click on something? Ah, I have to roll the dice. Oh, it's a dice roll. Okay, I didn't, I didn't kind of appreciate that. So it is still random. So there's a chance that it's likely to be a good thing. Yeah, we might sort of have a slightly better kind of thing happening, but there is still the threat that it could be bad. Okay, um, right, I press the button. What's happening? And it's a, un it's kind of a poorly looking face. What's happened there? What's happened there? I don't know what that is, but one of our villager people is kind of looking around the place. They're, I don't know what they're doing. Doing some disco dancing, I don't, uh, a thief. And now they're doing some dancing at us, okay. <laughs> so a thief has appeared, is that it? <gasps> oh my goodness me, Carver is now a thief. Food theft, okay. So the village loses five simple food and Carver is now a thief. Okay, um, and a crime has been committed. I mean, that could have been worse. When events are left unchecked, they will often generate some consequences. Now, oh, new previously unpredictable events may appear. Those events will be added to the prophecy book. Preventing an event can block the chain. Following an event, a label may be assigned to a pit by the rest of the village. This label will mark the pit for future events, unlocking subsequent events related to it. Oh, okay. So Carver is now, is now a thief. And they will always be a thief. Right. Okay. I mean, that could have been significantly worse. That could have been a lot worse. So, um, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. We can cope with that kind of thing. So I think, yeah, what we'll do is let's get the shared table thing unlocked. Let's get that done, shall we? And we'll build one of those. We'll move those two people maybe away from the chatty sort of uh, bench thing, chatty, whatever, not bench, chatty area over to the bench. Um, we could possibly, do you know what we'll do? We'll have a couple of days of just normal stuff. Just your normal everyday life going on nice and calm, nice and simple. And again, same thing. So food is balancing out, which is good. Not losing food, not gaining food, but not losing any either. Right, so now we've got six hope as opposed to no fear because nothing is happening because the thingy is asleep. The kind of the domain is asleep. So I think, and assign you to, I've got two more people to do some stuff. One person can go to the well to generate water because we need water around that bench thing. And somebody else can come down here and grab some wood. Just a little bit of wood, I think, might be quite useful. Right, so do that. This is all good. Oh, crikey, now what's happening? Oh, dearie me, things, stuff is happening. I can feel it in my bones. The next season is coming upon us. Get ready for it. What is the next season? Uh... Heat domain. The heat domain looms. I'd hate the heat domain. The heat domain feeds on the rising temperatures throughout the village during hot seasons. It is fast, fickle and ruthless. It may spread flames everywhere, so make sure you keep it in check. Heat changes with the seasons and the weather. It will be replaced by the cold domain during autumn. Okay, that sounds better than the heat domain, but I bet it's still quite bad. Once in a while, an event will change the current season. Season affects the temperature domain. When autumn arrives, cold starts becoming more dangerous. Vice versa, heat will become your mi uh, main concern when the spring comes. Be careful as seasons can impact the production of buildings, especially those that produce food. Oh, wonderful. Um, however, the good news, everybody, we've researched how a table works. You know, it's a sort of a flat surface you can all sit at. Many buildings will list a whole class of resources input instead of specific resources. This means 
that any of the results of that class we find as an input. The same happens with food. Refer to the HPD for more information. I'm going to pretend I understood that and press that button and hope that it doesn't come up ever again. So now we've got the heat domain and the fear domain or whatever that was. Oh, crikeys. Okay. <laughs> right, okay. We've understood how a table works, though. So maybe let's build ourselves a table. It's got to be next to a dwelling. Uh, we'll put it nearby social and a dwelling. Oh, perfect. It can go just there and it will be amazing. Uh, right, you... Stop thinking about things and go and whack things with hammers, please. Um, we've got eight days until a season event occurs. Okay, so we need to get that done to start earning some hope so we can then try to stop that event thing from you know causing us problems. Okay, we've got one person. Ah, right, hang on a second. Uh, more berries. Gather more berries, please. Um, wood. Let's get up to ten wood. We'll get back up to ten wood. And then I think we'll stop with the wood. Um, oh, crikey, memories have unlocked. Okay, hang on, what have we just unlocked? As you play, and the elder tells the story, you'll collect memory points. These points will unlock new game elements for your current and future games. Oh, that's quite exciting. Have we got memory points that we can spend right now? I don't know, that's hints, that's bug reports. Um, memory unlock. How do we spend memory points? I like the sound of that. There's quite a lot more to this game than I was expecting. I thought it was going to be a little kind of happy, pixel arty builder thing. But no, there's all sorts going on. There's kind of domains and hope and fear and memories and a sort of an underlying plot and such like. It's very exciting. Um, okay. So we've got one available person. I think they should possibly grab... Let, I mean, do they need to do some building? Do we maybe need another person? Let's get another shack, possibly. That might be quite good. Get another shack, because then we can get some more people. More people is handy to do more jobs. Right, so we'll get that done. And we've got... Okay, that table thing is done. So let's go through another day. We'll get the shack sorted. This is going to be fine. So get the shack all nice and sorted. There we go. And then we've got plenty of water now. So what we'll do is we'll stop you doing that. And we'll stop you gathering wood. And you two can go and hang out by this table. You can go and hang around at the table. You can have a drink of water. You can have a little bit of food. And you can generate five hope. Which is wonderful. So how does that work? Does it affect both things? Oh, hang on. Have we got... Ah, there's somebody not doing anything. Um, you can... Uh, you can probably gather some food. Go and grab some food for now, because food is going to be handy. Yeah, we're going through quite a lot of food. So, okay, we'll do this first, and we'll keep doing this until that event thing happens, until the season event happens. Oh, hang on, here's our thing over here. Memory unlock progress. So what do we get over here? Oh, this is very exciting. Right, hang on. So let's just fly through. Let's get to, let's get to this sort of season event thingamajig. Okay, event incoming, it says, and... It looks summery and quite nice. Heat threat rises. The elder had a vision of heat. I mean, I, I mean, summer is is typically warmer anyway. It, summer has arrived. I mean, do you need an oracle to tell you this? Surely this is a consistent thing that happens quite a lot of the time. I mean, I could tell you that summer will arrive at some point. I couldn't tell how hot it's going to be. But you, you know summer's going to get there at some point. Um, okay. So there's going to be a... What's that? A huge fireball in five days? Okay, so that thing is getting a bit stronger. The heat event has woken up. Seasonal refill. When a new season starts, plants that match the season will be refilled. Ah, have all the berry bushes come back? Oh, they have. All the berry bushes have grown new berries on them. Okay, that's good. But in five turns, there's going to be a risk event. Okay, so we have to start generating some hope for that. How do we generate hope against this thing? Uh, oh no, that's... Hang on, no, that's some sort of ice thing. Hope is against that thing. How do... Hang on, hang on. As a research, we generate some sort of... Oh, there, look! A puddle! Hang on, we have to go and unlock the secrets of a puddle in C... Oh no, we're... Th that's right. I haven't understood that at all. I thought it was hope, but no, it's not hope. Um, bother. Okay, you two, stop doing that, please. One of you go and research puddles really quickly. I mean, it's got a big one just there, big kind of your lakey shaped puddle. Um, and you can, uh, you, hang on, hang on, uh, deactivate you. You two can go, hang on, go like that. There we go. Two people can run into here. There you go, boys. So flowers, wonderful. Right. Go to the next turn. We'll get a child, which is good. 
But yeah, we're not going to be anywhere near prepared. Four days. We haven't got anything. We've, we're not going to have the puddle ready in time. <laughs> this one there. Can we just gather around that one? Okay, so a bad thing is going to happen. A bad thing is going to happen. But adieu is growing up, which is lovely. Well done. Um, right. Gather much in the way of food, please. We need to stock up on food a little bit because we've got more people around the place now. So here we go. Gather lots of lovely berries. And um, yeah, we'll skip through to when this event thing is going to happen because we can't prepare against it. We can't do anything against it at all because I woefully misunderstood the little kind of defense thing there. So something bad is going to happen related to heat. So let's go and find out what that is. Oh, brilliantly, Adiu has reached adulthood already. Oh, crikey, that was very quick. Well done. Um, okay, right, Adieu, what can we get you doing? What would you like to do? Is it worth building something? Have we got anything to build? I don't think we have. Water. We could build a well. That's kind of all we can do. <laughs> That's the only watery related thing we could do. Um, do you know what? Maybe you could gather some wood. Go and gather some wood. I think that's probably going to be about the best thing that we could possibly do. Um, right, okay, here we go. We're one turn away from uncovering the secrets of a puddle. But I think, yes, this weather event thing is now happening. And we've not defended against it at all. There is no chance of us being able to defend against it. So a terrible thing has happened. And, oh no, our little meeting spot has exploded. Buildings in the village whose constraints are unfulfilled will be abandoned by pips. Oh no, something bad has happened. Thinkers Post does not want a building close to it. Um, some events may damage buildings. A building can sustain an amount of damage equal to its build turns. You can repair damaged buildings with a special button. Okie dokie. If a building collapses into ruins, you can't repair it and it can't produce anything. Okay, so you have to kind of get rid of the rubble and build it again. Okay, heated walls. One damage inflicted to two buildings. Okay. And building conditions. Okay, so one of the memories come back to him. Okay, so we witnessed heated walls, but he's picking up some of this memory stuff. Okay. Um, right. That didn't go entirely according to plan. So those buildings have just... They're gone. They're gone. They've fallen down completely. Oh, dear. Um... I mean, can we... The building is abandoned. Okay, it's not next to that there. And we have to go and clear it, have we? Um, yeah, we can't repair that. The meeting point is is broken. The meeting point is destroyed. Ah, oh, botherations. Okay, do you know what? Remove the thing. Somebody go and clear that, please. That's a bit sad, isn't it? Took us a while to build that as well. Boo, game. Never mind. Right, so you clear that out. But now that table is also not valid because it's not next to a social thing. So we've got to build the social thing back there to make the table work in case we need to pick up some hope. But we have unlocked the secrets of a puddle. So, you know, that's a good thing, right? <laughs> Yay for a puddle. Um, okay, it's got to be nearby something that makes water. Okay, I think that works quite well. Let's put it next to the well. And, um, okay, what other sciencey stuff can we do? Um, growth... Hunting tent, fishing post. I mean, that generates food. That's fish. We could go and get something different from berries, possibly. Do you know what? We'll, we'll go for that. Six turns until we get that done. Will we get that done? I don't know. But I'd like to get our pond done, at least. No, not pond. Puddle. Sorry, I made it slightly more glamorous than it actually is. I'd like to get our puddle sorted. Beware. A doomed event is coming soon. Get ready for it, as it can spell the end of the village. Okay, great. Great. You're, you're full, of, full of laughs here. Um, doom prophecy. At the end of each page of the prophecy book, a doom event is bound to arrive. These events are stronger than usual, but fighting them off unlocks the next prophecy page. Doom events will arrive with increased threat, so they require all the village resources to fight them off. Okay, so what have we got? Um, a doom event arrives in eight days. You can prevent this event. Okay, so we've got 26 hope already here we've banked 26 hope so everyone's feeling quite hopeful which is good what i think we might have to do is we might need to build um hang on over here the meeting point put that back in there but we have nobody to build that so get rid of you from food gathering put you over there because we can only have 50 food anyway so we're almost at max food so that's okay um and then Go through to the next turn and we'll see what happens. So that's built and the pond is built. So yay for the pu no, pond, puddle. Yay for the puddle. Um, so now, um, yeah, we, we, can, we can have 
plus two. Does it just having that? I oh, know we have to have somebody actually looking at it. Oh, somebody is. Somebody is looking at the puddle. Okay, this is good. Um, but I think what we could do is we've got six water. We're losing one water. I imagine because it's hot. Is that why? Is that why we're losing that thing? Okay. So I think what we'll do is let's have you not doing that. And we do want you doing research. We've got plenty of wood right now. So you two go and have a little chat around the thing. Oh, no, hang on. We've still got a spare person. Because oh, they were a builder. Um, okay, how about then? You go back to gathering berries. Let's get, let's get, yeah, we're losing one food each time. That's okay. That's tolerable. In fact, no, hang on a minute. Hang on. Um, go here. Gather some water. Because we need water to do this thing to get the hope. Okay, right, here we go. So, yes, they're picking up three. Three fear. Memory retrieved. Mini events. Minor events may appear. Sometimes mini events will appear. They're short events that have small effects. Usually good. Oh, a good event to be quite nice to happen. And I think, did we pick up a thing over there? Did we pick up some sort of memory boost thingamajig? I'm not entirely sure. Um, did a mini event happen? I didn't see what it was. I was looking over here. Um, how can we spend these? Uh, I don't know how we do that, but okay. I think we did unlock one, but I don't know how we spend that thing. Not quite sure where we go to um, to invest in memory fragments or whatever it is. Uh, okay, never mind, never mind. Right, I think everybody's doing something. The, the thing is generating three fear, but we're generating five hope, and we did have quite a lot to begin with. So I think we'll be okay, but let's keep going. Let's keep going. Generate lots of hope. Make sure everybody is full of hope. Okay, we're picking up some sort of uh, some cold as well to make sure that if another heat event happens, it's not going to bother us too much. Um, okay, there's one person not doing anything. Ah, because that bush has gone right, so you can back down here. Here we go. I'd like to get through to the big event thing. Uh, ah, the fishing post is done. Hooray, hunting. Here we go. They can hunt wild animals. Okay, so they require wild animals close by. You use them as input resources. Okay, so like the fish in the pond. Okay, yeah, this is fine. Uh, the animals can be hunted. Every three days, the population is replenished by one. Oh, okay, that's fine. Right, so we have got some fish over there. Um, I think then, hang on, go back to community. Maybe then we get a bonfire, because a bonfire generates heat events. Uh, not heat, for heat points. So if it gets cold, we can then generate some heat around the bonfire to make everybody warm. Okay, right, there we go. We're planning ahead. Good grief, we're planning ahead. That was a bit scary. Uh, right, okay. So we're generating three food and we're eating seven. So every turn we're losing four food. That can't be good, can it? Okay, hang on a minute. But we do want lots of hope points here. Lots and lots of hope to avoid the great big doom event which is happening. Um, yeah, imminently. It's happening imminently. There is much doom on the way. Here we go. So I think this is not doom night, is it? Um, yes. It's tonight. Tonight, there is going to be doom. Okay, right. Let's see what terrible doomy thing is going to happen. Event incoming. A doom event, no less. Oh, everything's going a bit weird looking. So people are screaming. People are screaming. Okay, it's looking good. Test your fate. The numbers are definitely in our favor. Okay. So how's it looking? Right, it's gone to us. It's gone to us. And it's a cat. Okay. <laughs> I thought this was the Doom event. We found a cat, everybody. It's a lovely cat. Or is it some sort of cat of death? Um, okay, Pips have found a cat. Can we keep him? It'll. Uh, we'll name him Mover. Okay. We're not going to turn a cat away. Yes, we're going to welcome the cat. Of course we are. Um, right. I assume... I assume that we've kind of, you know, dealt with the... We've dealt with the uh, terrible event there. Cute kitty. <laughs> Welcome. Okay, we get a lovely cat. Um, and the heat event thing gets a bit stronger, I think. Is that what happened there? Uh, Vips. Very important pips. Okay, some pips are out of the ordinary. They are called VIPs or very important pips. They are special roles in the village. They work in their own dedicated buildings and may provide malices or bonuses to events. Be careful as lost VIPs cannot be replaced. Sometimes pips will pose a question and we need to use all your wisdom to choose what is best for the village. Oh dear. Think it thoroughly as choices will have consequences. Uh, okay, right. That's fine. Um, okay, so do we bring the cat home? 
is that what we've got now? Just got a pet cat. Um, so this is what our first Doom prophecy turned out to be. What, you want to know more? Well, it's getting late now. Come back and I'll tell you the rest of the story. And there we go, the demo is complete. I did want to get to a good point in the demo though. I wanted to get to a good point of where it felt complete. But no, if we've reached the end, that's quite good. But I like that. And look at all the things that we can see in the full version. There's like a little sort of... Um, was that like a mining truck thing? There's a pasture with a sheep. That's a butcher, I assume. There's a little kind of performing stage. Is that, what's that, some sort of market possibly? And then a kind of a theatre as well. It's got music over there and kind of theatre shows. I like the look of this. I do like the look of this. I thought that was going to be a really, really simple, straightforward, happy, pixely city, whatever. No, there was all sorts going on. There were sort of events and you know, sort of different prophecy kind of actions happening. You had to kind of build up defences against certain things. And yeah, you know, we got ourselves a cat at the end, which was wonderful. It's a shame we can't play more with the cat in the game, which is a bit sad. But you know, I'm surprised. I'm genuinely surprised that it wasn't just a sort of, you know, a lovely pixel arty city builder. There was a lot more to it than that. But given that we did get to the end of the demo, we're going to wrap things up for now with Dot Age, but this will be back. I'm absolutely certain that we're going to come back to this at some point when it goes into early access or maybe into a full release or whatever. We're going to come back and play some more because I'm intrigued. I want to know what happens as we move through the years. Do we get loads more prophecy things? I mean, there we saw fear. And we saw summertime, didn't we? We didn't see any kind of cold kind of things we had to deal with. And then, of course, there's going to be some more as well. I imagine there's going to be all sorts of different things that we have to deal with as we play our game and build our settlement. So I am very intrigued as to how that's going to actually play out in a slightly more complete version. So, yes, we're going to come back to this at some point in the future. I am fairly certain about that. So there we go. We can look forward to that. But, yeah, we'll wrap things up for now because we did complete the demo. Hopefully you did enjoy this. I had a lot of fun playing this. So hopefully Hopefully you enjoyed watching. If you did, please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with all the other bits and bobs that we get up to in the Geek Cupboard. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I will see you next time. For as we all know, with cake comes spiritual enlightenment and also happiness. That smell is totally not coming from any dark elder gods. Nope, not even a little bit. Okay, so a little picture of us on the wall, just to remind everybody who's in charge around here. Oh, and this person and here saying, Penge, you're my friend. Tom, you're my friend too. Nobody likes a soggy bottom.